and that is how we take the boards out of a floor these days. Okay, good morning everybody. We are on a new project here, over here in Federal Way. We just saw Charles tear those boards out of there and make very short work of it. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna extend this floor out into that area there. We're coming in through, we're gonna come in through the kitchen. We're gonna refinish all this right here. They took a fireplace out right there. We're gonna refinish that. We're refinishing up and down this hallway into bedroom number one, bedroom number two, and bedroom number three. Okay, so we're already underway here. I'm gonna get started in this kitchen here, cutting that toe space out. smooth this over a little bit. We're not going to make it perfect, but we're going to make it better than this. Okay, so you can see what we have here is a red oak shorts floor, which is kind of rare. Usually they're red and white mixed, but this is all red. So there are no shorts available at all four distributors in Seattle right now, so I cannot find this wood to match this floor perfectly. So we have to take what we can get sometimes, and the homeowner here has agreed that we're just going to put in some random length. We're going to tie it in here. You're going to see a little difference in the two types of flooring when you get back and look at the whole thing. But by the time you get the furniture and everything all in, it's gonna look great. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna start off our first row coming off there, do our feather all the way across this room, slip tongue it or spline it, and go ahead and do that kitchen. Fits. Hey, 
check that out. Not bad. Well, you can see we're fitting up to this old paneling, but that is what a proper corner looks like on a nice nosing. So I'm gonna glue that and nail it down. Okay, good morning everybody. We are over here on this project in Federal Way. Forgot my camera today, so it looks like we're using the cell phone to get a little bit of footage. Let's just turn this camera around and look at where we ended last week. So you saw the floor being installed in the kitchen area. We did the big feather here. And this is where I'm gonna to start today, sanding out this big feather here and joining these two floors together. Charles is gonna start in the back. Okay, so there you can see that blend. You can see the line in it, but it's not that bad. The shorts floor over there and a regular number one common over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish knocking this out with the rough sander. So somebody commented one time that we're wasting filler by doing a full trowel fill on this floor. Well, it's called full trowel filler for a reason because trowel filling a floor fills all the gaps, all the cracks and all the nail holes and it also gives you a guide coat for your next final cut of sanding to make sure you're nice and flat. Okay, good morning everybody. We are back on this project over here in Federal Way. Um, we have all the rough sanding done. We have it filled. Charles got the final sanding all done around all the edges. I'm about ready to break out the big sander with the final sanding. We're gonna use the old battle wagon all the way through on this project. So um, let's turn around, take a look. So Charles is gonna start in on the toe spaces here in the kitchen. We just have to go around that cabinet there real quick and all those toe spaces, you can see all the final edging is done. So it's all done all the way back there. I'm gonna start in the back rooms there with 100 grit on the big sander and uh, get to sanding this baby out. We're gonna put a coat down later today. put a coat down on this floor. It is all final sanded, buffed and cleaned. So let's just talk about our game plan here. So we are gonna start in these back bedrooms. Back here. So one guy, I'm gonna start in this room right here. Stop at this doorway. 
Carl's gonna start in this room here and give me a little brush right here. By then, I should be pulling out of that bedroom. And I'm gonna work my way down this hall. And then, who's ever out of that hallway first is gonna jump over into this kitchen. Start pulling underneath those toe spaces in that little pantry closet. And the next guy, when he jumps out here, will start cutting and we will work our way out of this main area of this living room. Get a nice line going down here and right out the door. You can kind of see the difference in that wood now pretty good. All the short floors right up against a number one common. But when all the furniture and everything is in here, the homeowner says, I'm gonna like it. Okay, here we are on the last and final day of this project. We're gonna put down two coats today. So let's just turn this thing around and take a look. The big thing is the blend. So here you can really see the color difference between the old floor and the new floor. You know, a lot of people will not even notice that, but I sure do. I can see that this older floor is a little darker the new floor has a little more gray in it. So you can really see the kind of the change right there. So we're gonna screen this floor out and put a final coat on it. Be done with it.
Okay, time for the final walkthrough on this project over here in Federal Way. Let's just turn the camera on and take a look. So, bedroom number one. Coming down that beautiful long hallway. Oh, I always love them long hallways. Bedroom number two. Bedroom number three. The lights are already off. I just got through hanging all the doors back up. And look at that. Look at how big this room is now. With that wall gone, I mean, we didn't see the wall. They had it out before we got here, but this is the old garage wall right here. And that was a concrete floor. They extended the subfloor out and we extended the, the wood flooring out over that. So we've already pointed out, it's a number one red shorts floor in the old part of the house. And we just put in a number one red floor. So you can see that transition. You can see it a little bit, it's not too bad. And this is all number one red going into the kitchen area and dining area here. So yeah, that's gonna be a wrap on this project. Thanks for watching and we will catch you in the next one.